Hey guys, it's Lola. And this is Sam. And this is Blooming to Beauty. Hey. We have a little bit of a different video for you guys today. Yes, yes. And we are super excited, especially me. Yes, because today we're going to be doing what Lola is going to be doing for us, a gel polish tutorial. Yes, absolutely. We've already talked about this. Mm -hmm. I love gel manicures. I love the fact that they last longer. I love the fact that it's just really shiny. I don't have to worry about it. So I know some of you may be curious. Some of you may not have an experience with gel manicures. So we wanted to just mm -hmm. demo it with, for you guys. Um, some tips and tricks of what I do and how I do yeah. it at home home because obviously as you guys know I do my gel manicures at home yeah so Lore is kind enough today she's gonna be showing us how she does her gel manicures mm -hmm. she's gonna give you an in-depth tutorial yeah. so you can see so you won't be lost like the first time I did a gel polish <laughs> <That's right. laughs> so, might as well dry yeah might as well dry, dry. <laughs> um, so yeah she's gonna be doing that for us today and I, I'm really excited yeah of course yeah, so if you're interested in watching the video Stay tuned. Hey guys, so now we are here in my setup. Hopefully, you know, readjusted all the angles, making sure that you guys are able to see what we're doing. So here is the products um, that we're gonna be used. Sorry, for, because I know it's a little bit dirty, but I do use this quite often. So I run out of this out a lot. I actually have a new bottle. I couldn't find it for the video. Um, but anyway, so I use the Gelish system, um, the, definitely the foundation coat and the top it off coat. They are my preferred ones. They do work with other systems of gel polish, but I will always utilize this foundation and this top it off is the best ones. I also use the Pro Bond, uh, which is also by Gelish. This is like a sticky... Like a, it's not a nail polish, it's just like an oil, but it leaves your nails very, very sticky, very, very sticky, just so that the first coat, the foundation coat, can go um, and stick a hadir, a deer better. I apologize for the swatches. I was swatching something earlier, um, and it got all over my uh, a lip, a liquid lipstick, of course, um, and it got all over my hands. So I'm so apologize for that. I am going to use the hot red gelish brand um i will be doing two coats of this today the color will come out beautiful and then to finish off i, I always nourish i always nourish i'm um, just showing you the regular stuff right nail filers i use this one just to give my nail some shape you guys know how to do that and i use this one to buff it out a little bit or even it out if i need to i usually just do this like around um the edges of my nail you can also buff your a little bit your nail here but i don't really need to do that um usually if, when you do go get gel manicure sometimes they'll buff out a little bit your your nail plate i prefer not to do that because i like my removal process to go smoothly and for my nails not to get damaged at all so um that if you want to avoid that don't buff out anything just use something like this the pro bond another thing that you can do is also just use acetone before even applying this just to dry out all of your nails and all of the oils within your nails so that it can dry out and this can adhere better and then everything else can adhere just better in terms of the light i just have a very regular light i bought i purchased this one in amazon this is a uv light i know they also have led lights but i i just have the uv light this is the double hand so i do um it tends to be a little quicker for me because i just go ahead and do both hands and stick them both in there and just make sure to do the two minutes curation and we'll be done with it so uh, we're going to start off, like I said, the way that I would always do it, which is the Pro Bond side. And just do it like a regular polish, right? Just do it like a regular polish. And you will see, it's a little bit um, shiny, but as it dries, it, it just gives a sticky, leaves a sticky residue. So, of course, I will be editing this and, and fast forwarding and um, editing everything as we go along. So the video is not... A an hour long uh, or 20 minutes long 
but again this is just to prep your nail plate so it can be ready for foundation some of um some of the tricks um you know in treating like a regular manicure i guess that will be I guess that will be my tip number one. Treat it like a regular manicure. It's nothing special, nothing different. The only difference is the fact that you're putting it in a light. Um, okay, you see? And then the shininess does not go away, but it does. It just leaves it a little bit shiny, right? That little shiny coat right there, that's just a sticky. So you do wanna apply everything fairly uh, quickly right now for your first one because you don't want um fuzzies to get stuck so we're gonna do the foundation i always do just one coat of foundation and it does you know another tip it has to be thin do not build it up too much where it is you know um <clears throat> because then it, it like does not adhere too well with the nail so just treat it like a regular manicure, be very careful. Make sure you don't get too close to the nail, uh, to your cuticles, because then that can cause a buildup and then your nails look a little bit, uh, just not as well put together. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this because I can see that a lot of the product is coming down. So this is what we're doing. I always just do a little bit of cleanup too, right before I put my nails into the lamp. Because once it's set, it's set. And obviously the most important one, the most important coat will be your foundation coat. Because if your foundation coat, wherever your foundation coat goes under, wherever it is in your nail, that's where the color is going to adhere. So if you don't, you know, if you need to be very careful and very neat with this foundation coat, so that, uh, sorry, I was out of focus. So that um, your manicure looks great. So this one I would say is the one that you have to take, you know, be careful the most. And um, another thing that I'm forgetting to do is to cap off the tops like so. Again, sorry for the redness. I was trying to get it off, but I couldn't. So just cap off you, the edge of your nail, just so that it can kind of like glue itself together. I don't know how else to explain it. And that will make your gel manicure last longer if you cap off the top. So I always, again, treat it like a regular manicure. Be very careful. Make sure that foundation gel is going everywhere you want it to be. Do a little bit of cleanup if you have to, because once it's dry, that's where the color is going to go. Then cap off, sorry if I'm out of focus, cap off the, the edge of your nail. Because that's just going to make it more secure and make um, everything last a little bit longer. Yes, this is very good. You see? Now it's very shiny and then it will remain shiny. Once I once I cure it, this will you could just pretty much wipe this off, put the top coat if you want to, um, and then just have a clear manicure. Um, just for a little bit added protection to your nails. And you see it's just a little shiny coat. And then what we're gonna do is I'm going to cure it. Ooh, okay. That's what I get for moving too much. Just cure it for two minutes. Go ahead and put both hands in there. And uh, we'll move on to the color. Okay, so everything is cured. You see, it's just shiny. It's just a shiny coat. Um, and like I said, if you, um, like I mentioned earlier, you can always just put the top coat and have shiny nails. But <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. I am going to paint my nails a hot red color. I saw Sam with her red nails the other day and I was like, I need to 
put my nail polish to good use. Just very classic red. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse all the mess, but you guys already know I'm a little messy. Maybe you didn't know. Let me tell you. I'm a little messy. <laughs> Um, okay, I will make sure to clean this up after the video for you guys. And again, we have to make sure, just treat it like a regular manicure. Super simple. And here we go. I always just try to be very careful because like I said, once this, there's no cleanup. The cleanup happens now. Cleanup does not happen later. Sorry, I had to scratch my nose. Um... It happens now before it's cured because once it's cured you would have to literally take everything off in order to make changes if that makes any sense to your nails to your manicure so anything and everything can happen now um, yeah so I just do you see a regular nice little manicure making sure I leave enough room in the edges uh, just so that it looks professionally done. Um, it, again, I don't like to get too close to the cuticle area because the moment that you do, that's when some buildup can accumulate and then your nail just looks a little chunky, just does not look nice and neat and even. So I did forget to cap the edge of my nail. I'm going to do that. I'm so sorry if I'm too close. It's just that I'm standing up because I can see better. As you guys know, I wear glasses. So it's like, I just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. And you guys are able to see it. Sorry, again, I was out of focus. Okay, so let's not forget to cap the edge of our nail like so. I'm just trying to... Hopefully you guys are seeing what I'm doing. Um, see, capping that edge. You know, every coat, every time you do a coat, make sure you cap that, that edge. Um, yes, I would like it a little bit closer. Just a tiny little bit. Yeah, just doing a little bit of cleanup because again, once it's cured, it's cured and it's gone for good. So let's see. And I've been doing nail gel nails for about six or seven years at home. So I have saved I I, I do it's one of my my it's one of the things that I love aside from makeup is nails so i do spend quite a bit um not quite a bit um i do spend some of my money in there part of my makeup money in <laughs> in nail polish money um and like i said you can find brands from six dollars and up i know ulta has sales red red carpet I know Ulta sells red carpet nail polish, which is the a, a gel polish brand. I never tried it, I'll be honest, simply because of the price point. I rather buy a full size, you know, a full size nail polish like this for $15. That's something that's half the size for 10. So that's just me. Um gel polish let me tell you it lasts a long time i've never had an oh i'm so sorry about it folks i've never had an issue with a nail polish go, going bad on me or having to add a thinner or anything of that nature i don't know if we could even add thinner to gel nail polish since the formula is different um but it's a problem that i've never had that you know a nail polish going bad on me um, it's definitely a problem I've never had. The only issue I had once, or maybe twice, two times, was that the actual brush of the nail polish um, was just not good. It came like, it wasn't broken, obviously, but it was, 
it was just not nice and neat. It was like, I don't know. I can't even explain it. Uh, it was a terrible brush. So thankfully, it was one of my glitters. So it's not like I needed application to be extremely perfect. Um, it does, gel polish does even out. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see that. So sometimes it's like um, something might be a little bit un uneven at first glance. But then as you cure it, as you le let it be alone for a few minutes, it will, um, it will just even out on its own. And I love that. So this is how one coat looks like. See, it's already looking great and very shiny. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my second coat and I will be right back. Okay, so this is how it looks after the second coat has been cured. Um, again, very shiny. It is a little sticky. I would touch it to show you guys, but it doesn't make any difference. You guys wouldn't be able to tell. So it is sticky, so I always try to just hurry up and finish off because this is what will make everything just bond together and cure. This is to top it off. Um, and again, we want to do the same type of application, very, very thin coats. It'd be nice if I could open it. Okay. Um, now, I did do my toes yesterday, so the brush is a little bit stained. So one of the things that I usually do is just kind of like clean it off right after with paper. Um, most of it, most of the colors will come off. You can always just have, I mean, the brush stains will come off. Most of the reds and dark colors will stain your brush. So if that bothers you, um, you could just have two. I know I'm asking for too much, but you can always just have two um, or get a second brush, of course. Um, but two sets, one for the dark colors and one for the regular colors. I only have issues with red. I never notice issues with pinks or purples or anything like that, with the exception, like I said, of reds or dark colors. They're the only ones that bleed through. I'm so sorry. I'm like really trying to just look through the camera <laughs> and it's not working out. And again, a little bit of cleanup. Cleanup happens before we cure anything. Um, making sure I don't have too much product in my brush, tapping everything off at the bottom, at the bottle, if I have any extra or excess. Uh, but yeah, you guys already know how to tap it off. Make sure that you do the edges as well. And then you will go ahead and cure it again for another two. Make your literally you take your hands out of the lamp after curing your top coat. Then we're gonna go in with um, again another harmony product, gelish harmony. This is the cleanse, and this is um, a cleanser and sanitizer. So this is what happens with this is it's kind of like um like alcohol, I would say. You do have to clean it up with a lint, lint free paper. So I just use you know bounty, no big deal. And I just grab a little bit of this and I cleanse off everything around my nails. Why? Because once you're done curing, your nails feel sticky. I don't know if you can see that. It's like, it feels sticky. So everything that is cured needs to be clean. And then you'll be able to see that it shines even more. It just gets very shiny. Ooh, okay. And the same thing over here, you could just get more of that product. And it's a blue liquid. I'm running super low on it, so you can't really see the color anymore. I mean, it doesn't really matter <laughs> as long as it works, right? Um, and I'm just cleansing around my nail, making sure that everything that's around gets cleaned. And I do have to, like I said, go wash my hands and put... Um, moisturizer on etc but this will be the finished product hopefully you guys are able to see yay very very shiny once we're ready to get these nails off i wouldn't show it to you guys obviously because i just did it um maybe that's another 
So this is the Harmony Gelish, the artificial nail remover soak off. So this is what you will be using to take off your nails after the week or two weeks that you've had them. So what happens here is um, you soak off cotton balls and you put them here, right? You put them here, like let's assume this is a cotton ball and you will put it right here and you just cover it. This is how I do it. And you will cover it with aluminum foil and you leave it soaking off there. You do that for each of your nails and you leave it soaking off for about 12 minutes. And after the 12 minutes are, are passed, all you have to do is just wipe it off and everything comes off. Well, maybe we'll do a second video just showing you guys how to remove gel nail polish. But this is all the products that I use. Like I said, it's just very simplistic. It's just like a manicure. The only difference is that every time after each step, after each uh, foundation, after each coat, we're just curing them with the UV. We are just curing it with the UV lamp. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found it informative and we will see you next time. Bye.